Good morning, Fabian Garcia, DPT here. And uh, today, Tuesday, January 12th, 2016, I wanted to talk about negative pressure. Negative pressure is the driving modality in this clinic. We are almost exclusively a negative pressure clinic. Negative pressure comes in one of several ways, uh, AKA cupping, static cupping. These are some pretty high quality Korean cups here. And with these Korean cups, what you can actually do is you can put on multiple cups on a patient, especially if they're coming in with a lot of global issues, and just leave the cups on for a while. And the cups can really just, you can really just get an appreciation for what they do. And what the cups do nicely is they separate tissue. Uh, one of the flaws I saw working as a therapist in another very high-end physical therapy place was that a lot of our patients, especially chronic pain uh, sufferers, especially lower back, everyone would come in and just say that one day that they would just wake up and feel old. And that's usually around 30 years old. Well, that's not far from the truth. What happens is that from years of getting positive pressure massage in the form of traditional uh, closed chain ART work, um, shiatsu, athletic massages, anything that we're uh, rolfing, anything where you go in, what you're technically doing is that you're taking a protein that causes inflammation in a tissue and you're putting it deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until it hits the bone and what do you get? Periosteal inflammation. That never made sense to me. Completely made absolutely no sense. So what I do is I do not the opposite. I don't want to put out there that I'm doing the opposite of every other therapist out there. I'm doing the mathematical opposite. Vector-wise, I'm going in the completely opposite direction and using negative pressure to do one thing in particular. This cup that I had here, static cups, you can put them all over the body. You can do 12, 18, 24 cups at a time. Uh, it's really nice. It's really passive modality, kind of like braising beef. Just put them on and let them stay on for about 10 minutes and then take them off and then see the results. But the main thing is, this is a cup right here attached to our baby, the MC600 metacupping machine. This metacupping machine is absolutely amazing because what it does is it applies respirator technology to these handmade glass blown German cups, all handmade stuff. And what you can really do then is have a creative application of manipulating tissue. So you can just park it there. You can just do multiple parking along tissue to get to separate. You can also do a park with a manipulation of a proximal joint to a distal joint. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, do shearing, fascial assessment. But what we wanna get away from is actually taking protein and putting it down deeper. And what we actually wanna do is separate tissue in a negative pressure manner. And by doing that, two things happen of clinical significance. Number one, the proteins that cause inflammation. Let me repeat that, the proteins that cause inflammation slide right out. These proteins are molecularly huge. It's like trying to park a, a tractor trailer into a tiny little garage spot. It's not gonna fit, and once it gets stuck in that tissue, it's not, it gets jammed, it gets physically jammed. They're huge, huge molecules. So once you open up that tissue, that protein that causes inflammation can slide right on out and the most important thing is that water can come in. Water does two things because it has an amazing property, which I'll explore in one second. And while this cup is still on me, let's switch it over. So you can see there's some capillary bursting that's going on right there. Why? We're breaking up old venous tissue that's stagnating the tissue, so that capillary burst is actually normal. What water does exceptionally well is that it absorbs heat. If uh, you look at, uh, I tell patients all the time, you look at a Japanese swordsman, and they take some uh, piece of metal that's 600 degrees, they can bring it down to room temperature in about eight seconds flat. The reason why is water has a unique ability to absorb heat at about 80 to 90 degrees per second. So what that does is, if you have tissue that's opened up and you have a new amount of water come in, you're gonna decrease the excessive metabolic reactions, AKA tissue fever, AKA inflammation, AKA pain, you're gonna decrease that because water is now coming in and cooling the tissue from the inside out. So what we do, 
we treat tissue from the inside out. My previous um, little video lecture was about treating the pH, but we can also cool down tissue. So if we get someone uh, with these heavier cups, and these cups come in all shapes and sizes, smaller cups, we also have bigger cups for the back, quads, larger areas, and we also have these massive cups as well that create a ridiculous amount of pull. And you're gonna feel the tissue separate. You're gonna feel capillaries burst. And, but the most important thing is you're also gonna have water come in and cool down that area. This works extremely well for lower back pain where you have seven layers of tissue. So instead of compressing with my elbow and being all proud of myself for digging in deep on you, instead what I'm doing is I'm separating seven layers of tissue and allowing water to infuse and to permeate and to cool down fever that's stuck within that area. So what we get is a massive amount of heat that comes to the surface. What do we do here at this clinic? We use 50% isopropyl alcohol, Russian bathhouse style. We douse our patients with it so that the evaporation process can keep going so the heat doesn't stay stagnant at the surface, goes and right into the atmosphere. So what we do that's different from other people is a negative pressure with the intention of A, number one, separating tissue so heat gets out. Number two, having water cool in the area. But number three, have this heat rise to the epithelial surface where we can douse patients with alcohol and then afterwards have that water just evaporate basically into the atmosphere. And that's what makes this clinic extremely unique. Again, let me emphasize, we are the only negative pressure driven clinic in the entire United States. This is sports physical therapy. This is physical therapy covered by health insurance. This is all health insurance covered. So again, this is not uh, homeopathic. It's none of that stuff. This is science at its finest. So again, uh, negative pressure doing um, physical therapy clinic, our little baby right here in Midtown West. Thank you for your time.